and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I just want to welcome you. And if you have been here before, I want to say welcome back. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm actually doing a wig review and I've been eyeing this wig for a minute. It's the Model Model, um, Model Model, uh, Invisible L Part, Deep L Part wig in, um, the style J Joy. And the color that I actually picked up was actually the 99J. And I'm going to give you two, well, three reasons why I, I um, picked this color. Number, before I even get into it, like this color, I used to wear this color a lot, like the 99J and the reds in, um, like back in the day when uh, Latavia from Destiny's Child and also Janet Jackson's, um, especially in the um, I Get So Lonely video. And I think it was um, Kima from the group Total when they came out with their second album and um, that video that they had with Missy, I can't remember the name of, of it right off the top of my head, but um, that era of music, like the late 90s, when they came out with those reds and it was just looking good and on like their skin tones and I just decided, you know, from then I just always loved the color and then I would flip back and go to like the browns, like the number twos and number fours was like the deep medium browns and also the um, like the ash browns or whatever because you know how styles and like colors change throughout the years but I'm so glad that this color seems like it's coming back well it's been back for like the past year and a half I would say I've been seeing a lot more um, of the lines that I like especially like uh, model model um, free dress and so forth bringing back and having a lot more styles in this color which was so hard to find before I would usually um, it was easier to find in like the uh, brands like maybe um, Gosh, what was it? Can't even remember off the top of my head, but there was a brand. There was one brand that had it, but they didn't. The styles I didn't really care for. But I like the quality here from um, Free Tress. I like the quality here for for it to be like a synthetic, you know, um, brand. Um, well, not synthetic brand. I should say a brand that you know carries a lot of synthetic um, type texture here. I was just happy to find that like model model you know is coming out with a lot more styles within this color because this is like the color that I love and I do not and I refuse to dye my hair so as you can see right now my hair is actually in a little doobie I got my little you know protector like laying down my edges a little bit but um yeah like you can see it's in a doobie if you don't know a doobie is a wrapper from New York City we call a wrapper doobie go to the Dominicans that's what we call that's what they call it but um yeah so I'm gonna just jump right in I'm gonna just you know let my hair loose and um, preview this wig I actually like I seen it on a couple of my like a couple of sites and I was just like looking at them like you know what I can make that work so stay tuned I'm gonna just pull this out you gonna actually see my hair for the first time I don't know if I've any of my other review my other videos I don't think I've ever had my hair out but I got it actually um, blown out and I'm um, straightened so but yeah even though I do all of that, like the maintenance of my hair, like every week, I still wear my wigs because number one, it protects my hair, my natural hair. Number two, I don't have to like put any type of like um, damaging products and anything like permanent in my hair. I could always switch it up by using the wig and that's the beauty of the wigs. Stay tuned. So as you can see, um, I started to pull the um, pins out of my hair to get this wrap out of my hair. As you can see I have a lot of hair and people wear wigs for many different reasons like I for one like I just explained I don't like putting like permanent and damaging products in my hair so what I do is I, whenever I want a certain look or whenever I want um, a certain color I just go to a wig it's much easier plus you don't have any excuses like for me like I work out and also um, I tend to I like to swim as well so I refuse to have any limitations because of my hair and a lot of folks always feel like just because a woman or um, a man whatever but if they're in particular a woman if they wear wigs that they are bald-headed but as you can see she has hair she has edges and like I said I just got it blown out so it's like super straight when I go out like if I start sweating of course it's gonna like go back to its natural state but um, yeah, normally I like braid it and just put my wig cap on and just like keep it moving. And um, if I want to wear my hair, um, you know, if I want to wear my natural hair, of course I just like wear it. And it confuses people. 
but it's all good. I know I have hair, it's still me. And um, yeah, so let's just jump into this wig. I'm so excited about it. So now that my hair is um, up under my stocking cap, normally I would um, braid my hair, like I would do like four cornrows going back and just um, you know, put my stocking cap on. But since my hair is straight, I probably would um, wear it straight for like a couple of days and then go back to my wigs. I like to do that like every now and then just to like let it breathe. So I like wear my hair, my natural hair for maybe three or four days a week and then, you know, flip flop between wig depending on how I feel. Cause I don't always want to braid and unbraid my hair and typically try to get my hair done um, every week or every two weeks um, with a deep condition or whatever. So like I said, this wig, model, model, on the model is really, really pretty. Actually on the model, it's um, the color shown on the model is OM203, which is like that ombre color, which is really pretty. I would have gotten this color as well, but I feel like I've been wearing that color for, like off and on for like the past year. So I just wanted to go back to 99J. I just love how it looks on my complexion. So the wig, it's an invisible L part. And it's super soft, by the way, for it like to be synthetic. These wig companies are like really, really... Um, getting a lot better with like the texture and the quality of the hair um if you're one of those who want to spend like a normal a leg on a wig you most certainly can but i am one of those who refuse to spend that much money on a wig so here's the color and as you can see it's like that deep wine burgundy it's very very pretty and oh my god it's so soft it's super super soft and it has the um lace in the front which you of course would just cut off and um and uh, put on and just you know if you want to um, like the, the part is like big enough I probably would um, you know like tweeze it out a little bit just to make it look a little bit more natural and just add some concealer from like foundation to it just to give it a realistic looking part but as you can see like the color straight out the, the package is already like gorgeous like super gorgeous really really pretty um, really really soft really manageable I can really and the, the um, it's about a number 12. It looks like like 12 inches. Sorry, not a number 12, but it's about 12 inches. So um, really super cute, super chic for the summertime. That's, and it's very, very light, by the way, breathable. Um, like I said, I like the Model Model um, brand. There's a lot of other brands that I like. A lot of feel like Model Model and Free Trust, Free Trust have like similar um, like wigs. It's just like sometimes the color, the name would be a little bit different. But those are like two like brands that I pretty much like go to for um, synthetic wigs just because I like how realistic it looks and the quality of the hair for it being synthetic it really just does the job you know and for me I typically change my wigs um, I feel like after a month and I think after a month of wearing a wig a synthetic wig that lasts for that long is pretty really is pretty good if you're not one of those who just wears it, like if you know going out and so forth, like for me, pretty much it's just during the week, going to work, um, here and there, going out or so, so forth. And like when you know, especially with traveling, you don't have time to do your hair, you don't want to have any limitations. Like I said, um, like for me, I like to swim, I like to do a lot of like outdoor activities, and of course, a natural hair. It tends to like for my hair it'll just get kinky and turn into an afro like I have like natural kinky hair for me to get it this super straight it took a lot of like it was blown out and then um, flat iron just to keep it that straight and it's not gonna last long which is fine um, but like I said for to have variety and have like the options of wearing a different hairstyle and so forth. I love my wigs. So I'm gonna put this on so that way you can see. I'm gonna actually cut the lace as well so that way you can see how this looks on my head. I feel like my head is so big and these wigs always feel like, like look at that. Hopefully it fits on my head and hopefully I don't have to like braid my hair to have it lean flat. But this wig, this wig cap is kind of tight so hopefully yeah it just um <laughs> it just does what I needed to do. Anyway. So, this is Model Model Joy right out of the um, pack and I actually just cut the lace off. Oops. It shed in a little bit only because I um, cut it too close to the lace and I was fingering it too. That don't sound right. I was um, combing through it with my fingers <laughs> to... Um, yeah, to straighten it out, but I'm probably going to go ahead and 
um, open up the pot a little bit more. It's not shiny, it's just a bright texture. Normally if it's too shiny, I would add a little bit of powder, like baking powder to it. But it's actually a really good texture. So what I'm gonna do is, um, before I wear it, of course, I just wanna choose it to see how it looks right out the pack. I love this color, by the way, like, so pretty. You see that if um, it's too dark in here, whatever, but um, this is gorgeous. And it's like, this is normally how I wear my hair. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it has a, the part is on the right hand side. Um, it's just gorgeous. Like, I really don't have much to say about about it. It's just, I can see myself getting me some more um, from this line, the same style, and just getting um, other colors because all the colors pretty much look like really, really good, and I can see myself rocking it. But for now, for the summer, for the spring, summer, late spring, summer, I see myself rocking this 99J. And like I said, it just reminds me of the. Um, it's like a soft auburn um, reddish with reddish undertones, burgundy or whatever. But it reminds me so much of um, that era when Janet Jackson came out with um, I Get So Lonely, like that video. Every time I see this color, this, that's what it reminds me of. And also, um, like I said, my girl, Kima, um, from one of my favorite groups, Total, and Latavia from, uh, from Des Destiny's Child. like. They came out around the same time with this hair color and I loved it ever since. It was just so hard to find, um, you know, just to find the color in like most places, um, you know, they had it, but it was like extremely too expensive, which was cool because of course, you know, they made it really, really hot. But a lot of these, um, the lines that I, like for instance, um, Model Model, um, um, what is it, Model Model Free Tress. Um, so many of them now are making more styles with this color, so it's making it a lot easier for me to find it, number one. And number two, um, I don't have to like get my hair weaved. And it's just something, like I said, it's not permanent. I love it. Um, let me know what you guys think. I am loving this wig. Like, I can't stop looking at it. That's why I can't even talk straight. I can see myself doing a lot more with it, too. Even though the, the, the uh, part is like straight, dead, it's, um, dead in the, on the right-hand side, I can probably twist it to the front to get a middle part or just, no, I can't leave a little bit of my hair. I was thinking that maybe I can leave a little bit of my hair out and do something like that with, ooh, girl, this hair. Oh my God, like seriously, I am loving this wig. I am seriously loving this wig, it's so pretty. And it looks so natural, even without me opening up the part too much. I kind of like that. It kind of gives me that like baby hair. It kind of looks like I have baby hair. Oh, I wish you guys could feel it. It's bouncy. It's soft. When I tell you I love this wig, I am in love with this wig. And I know I say that with all, my, all the other wigs that I've reviewed, but no, seriously, I am in love with this wig. The color, the bounce. The texture, the um, the length of it. You guys hear my dog? Anyway, yeah. So, mm, let me know what you think. Again, I'm gonna be doing a, quite a, a few more reviews on the Model Model um, brand, um, only because, like I said, it's easier for me to find like the color that I want and I see that lately like they have a lot more styles with this color oh my god and um I purchased this wig on Sam's Beauty I'll leave all the details and everything the price and the link to the wig um in the description box below but again thank you so much for watching thank you for stopping by and if you like what you see thumbs up um subscribe follow me on my um, other social media pages and again thank you so much bye